John here guys and today we're at the night by checking out this baby ape three inch by Darwin FPV this entire quad only cost $80 including the props and it has everything you need all you got to do is wire up a receiver and send it it flies with either a 2s or 3s battery and you're gonna see some of the footage flying around one of the most famous FPV spots in the entire world the night spot but the VTX was a little bit weak when I tried to fly with other people so we're gonna have Yvonne put the power meter on here and test Let's to see, see if it's outputting low power. Darwin FPV has released this baby ape. This is an ultra low cost, tiny little three inch with individual arms, a very nice design, an all in one board. It comes with a couple of these extra little rubber bands that you use instead of a battery strap and also has these little Velcro strappy things, some zip ties, stickers, um, little instruction card right here. Wiring diagram so you can see how to wire up receiver and a set of these nice 3016 props uh, these are some of my favorite low pitch three inch props yes. inside here it has an f4 all-in-one board a tiny little video transmitter that is actually secured to the top plate right there i don't love that it has these little screws instead of the standard 1.5 nuts the this is a 15 amp ESC on board here. It has motors that are a very similar look to the original Emax Baby Hog. In fact, I think these might be the same motors. I can't tell. Base looks slightly different, but they're very, very cheap motors. It has LEDs on the arms already for you. This sort of like LED race wire that they've used, which makes for a very clean design. It has these sort of forked arm tips, which means you are going to protect the motors a little bit. Decent little camera protection here. This is the standard standard version which has their Darwin FPV 700 TV line camera. The pro version is exactly the same, but it does have the Cadex Ant 1200 TV line camera. So that's the difference if you're wondering. This thing can be had for about 70 to 80 bucks. So it's one of the cheapest all-in-one drones on the market. Now you are gonna wire up your own receiver to this thing because it doesn't come with one. And I'm gonna put in one of those tiny little Express LRS bad boys in here. This is an interesting board layout. It has sort of a larger size video transmitter for this size craft that does go out to a little dipole antenna. You can see the camera mounted up there is very small. That's probably how some of the cost savings come in here. But check out this all-in-one board. It's actually like two boards sandwiched together. So I'm guessing the bottom is like more of the ESC and the top is the flight controller. It gives it a very small footprint, but maybe this will give you a little bit more durability since they are sort of like two separate components. We're gonna wire up our receiver to these pads right here. You got your TX1, RX1, 5 volt, and ground all right here. So that's where there's gonna go. There's kind of a lot of room back here in the back, but there's not really a lot of room for you to mount it because they do have this capacitor fixed right here. So this little thing made it around the track just fine. The only thing that's a little bit weird is that you can't really get the camera angle more than about maybe 30 degrees which for park flying and freestyling is actually totally fine, but for racing, it's a little bit low. I like to go with more of a 45 degree angle. Uh, so I couldn't go quite as fast as I wanted to, uh, but that's actually a nice feature because you won't be able to go too fast. And as such, you're less likely to crash and break it. Um, so it flew very good. Now, I don't know about this video transmitter. I had trouble when I lowered the power output down to 25 milliwatts. That's what we fly here at the night spot and at pretty much every race now we do that low power output to be able to get the maximum number of pilots in the air and i noticed i couldn't see anything uh, when people were powered up so we use this immersion rc power meter this is something that we use to measure the output of our video transmitters and it was showing close to zero at 25 milliwatts now at 200 milliwatts was what you would actually use to fly in a park it was reading correctly um, so i split the difference that flew at 100 and this is the dvr you're going to see of me flying the track and it was totally fine so all in all this is a really exceptional value for only 70 to 80 dollars all you got to do is slap a receiver in there it's about the cheapest drone you're gonna buy and it actually flies so not bad guys if you want to get started and have an extra little cheap park flyer 
don't ever have too few quads because if you crack them all you can't fly so have one of these as a spare as a backup and if you don't need it hand it off to somebody else this can be your let them try a quad and if it goes sailing of way into the oblivion you won't be too upset about it with a tattoo 450 milliamp hour battery i was able to get about five minutes of flight time flying around the night spot you could also use one of these 550s and get even more i'm guessing probably seven eight minutes of flight time maybe as much as 10 if you're cruising around this thing has also an insane power to weight ratio when you hit the throttle on this thing it just flies into the air so rapidly it's amazing the kind of extreme power that you can get for only about 80 bucks almost every piece of this is upgradable uh, some of the nice things about inexpensive models like this is that you could buy spares you could get two of these for only 160 and then you have a spare of everything so it's also very rare for something this low of a price point to have individual arms that means if you did crack an arm the whole frame doesn't have to be thrown away or disassembled you just swap out that one arm and then you are back in the air what do you think in the comments are you flying any of these cheap micros are you building your own expensive top of the line micros I remember when the Diatone Cube was really like the best value. This has a bit more punch than that and it costs even less. I flew just fine when I was by myself, but when everyone else was armed on the line, I couldn't see a damn thing. Is it on? Yeah. Are you sure? Because it's like zero milliwatts on. Maybe it's pit mode or something. I mean... Yeah, maybe it's a pit mode. Well, then can measure again. Yeah, there's like zero. Like zero! Nothing. No wonder it's Because sucks. I really don't know how to measure the dipoles. I don't measure them often. Uh, but this is like zero, like nothing. I wonder really. I couldn't see. Look at this. This is the best right, chips, the best snack for racing. Uh -huh. Mission racing style Mission. tortilla chips. Texas champions. Hopefully they'll be sponsoring us soon too. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have chips at every night fly. Yeah, really good. Good stuff. <laughs> I've never seen that. That's awesome. <laughs>